opportunity and the uh, materials to create art, to view uh -huh. performances, um, and they also help them with housing and, and to try to give them an, an opportunity to make a better life for themselves. Start building that foundation of, yeah. for lack of a, a and to build safety. Trust. Yeah. To build trust yeah. and confidence in them. And, and we actually wound up, we wound up having a performer here who had gone through... Ranger the Hoop Groover. Yeah, who had gone through the pair program, uh, gotten to attend the Cirque du Soleil. Oh, that's met cool. with some people. And so she, she was able to tell her story about pair and how pair had helped her. So um, really important organization. Probably the least familiar to the anyone well of, the, of the ones yeah. that I've we're seen a little about. bit on Twitter. Yeah. So yeah. Some of the fundraising yep. yeah. efforts, but... Yep. This is great to give it that visibility as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Really good organization. And then the, the last is the Oregon Food Bank. Mm -hmm. That's heartbreaking how many families are hungry. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes, yeah, it absolutely. is. We always use that throwaway phrase, oh, in this economy, it's easy to say, but it sure does mean a whole lot you to You know, it doesn't matter what the economy is. There's, there's always someone who can't feed themselves. Yep. If the economy is bad, there are going to be more people. Yep. yep. Pardon, Versa? Yes, year round. That was the thing. It's it's harder right. it's yep. it's harder to raise right. food for the food bank when you're not thinking about Thanksgiving or Christmas. Yep. Or, uh, well, and I think that I mean I think that was a really one of the the things we were trying to test by doing this in the middle of the summer mm -hmm. when nobody's really thinking about giving. I mean, last time around we did this. There's the holidays, right? And people are thinking about giving back and what can they do and how can they help people. And so we were really interested to see what would happen doing it in the middle of summer and, and seeing what kind of commitment we would Apparently get there. Apparently people are not them. as giving in July. Yeah. No, and it, well, it's hard, <laughs> too, because it's also the holiday weekend. Correct. Yep. So the families are in town. I mean, my street yep. is littered in a good way with RVs, mm -hmm. so there's clearly yep. lots of people coming in from out of town and right. the fireworks. Mm -hmm. You know, when you have a little one, unfortunately, fireworks are no longer fun. <laughs> yeah. They're annoying. It'll, in a few years, they'll be fun they'll again. They'll get fun right. again. Yeah. That's, yeah. 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 I'm just waiting for that. Yeah. It'll happen, but not, not for, for a couple not of years. <laughs> not for, because then there will be the plugging the ears and screaming. <laughs> That's like, what, two or three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that lasted until six. Oh, great. Oh, good. Okay, sweet. Well, um, in my house. I mean, other children are different. <laughs> I'm just saying, in my house, it lasted a little longer than maybe necessary. <laughs> yeah, you know. So part of the plan here was... At the, end, at the end of the show last year, we had a, a chance to turn the cameras around and talk to everyone at the production table. I now I think everyone's too freaked out yeah. to do anything. I because see. I see everyone at the production table that. is Doc. Knocking one, us offline. One of the huge problems with that being that last time we were indoors and we had lighting all over the yeah. place. And while they have moved a lighting kit over there, it is not plugged in. Nope. It is not turned on. Nope. And given that we just had a little power snafu, I'm thinking they're not going to want to turn that on. And they're not even listening to us, so I don't think yeah. we're going to get to talk to I, them. I think one thing, if we are, if yeah, I, we should go through all of our sponsors, and I want to grab the list Let's of people who sponsored. You, so you, you do that, and I'll talk to Stephanie. Okay. Hi, Stephanie. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm a little fresh, fresh, little fresh. You're fresh? No, you are. You guys seem like you're holding up so well. I'm actually Cammie's body double. <laughs> she's she's over there sleeping under the truck. I slept the entire time Cammie did the 30-hour the day, <laughs> and she uh, tapped me to come on out for the last hour of the show. Sweet. That's yeah. the way to do it. Yeah. It was excruciating to get all the tattoos in one sitting that Cammie had in order to get this gig. <laughs> But, um, <laughs> you know, it's for charity. What can I say? This Are you done with tattoos, or do you want more? No, I'll have more. Just taking my time. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know if or when. They're kind of addictive. Yep. Yeah, they really... I would say so. Yes, they are. Very addictive. If someone came up to me today and, and asked if they could take a picture of my back. I was wearing a dress that was not backless, and yeah. I was very confused. Because I thought she was asking me to take my dress off so she could take a picture of my back. And I was oh, like, yeah, well. no, not right now. I'm kind of in the middle of a telethon. I don't want to take my clothing off for you. And she was like, oh, no. Just she was asking about my shoulders. And I was like, oh, OK. okay. <laughs> You're like, sure. That's fine. Go ahead. And then last night, so we, while I pray that you were sleeping, we had the <laughs> slumber party. I was. Okay, where we had just a stream of comedians come in. That was from 2 to 5, right? That was from 2 to 5, and they were hilarious. And there's this one guy with a full sleeve that came in, 
and uh, and it had a bit. It, it won't be funny when I tell you about it, but I'm telling you about it because it happens. He did a bit about how uh, women will walk up to him and and pull his sleeve up and pull his arm and want to look at his arm, and I won't, you know. His his solution was, do you want me to pull your tit out of your shirt? Okay. Is that yeah? <laughs> and and, uh, and but the discussion was valid because for some reason when you have tattoos, it, it is not uncommon for someone to walk up to you and decide, let's touch you a lot yeah. and see that. And let me, can I right. take a peek down your back? Right. And uh, that's the one really big drawback of tattoos. I, I have two. Uh huh. They are hidden. Yes. I don't even know that my boss knows about them. They're secret <laughs> tattoos. Oh, bye, Megan Kate. Are you leaving? Bye, Megan Kate. Bye, beautiful personal assistant, Megan Kate. See you. Megan Kate, a hero who's been a great help. Have a wonderful night. Get some sleep. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank we you. love you, too. Yes. Sweet dreams after you go out all night and party like a crazy rock star girl. I have no doubt. That's Last time, you stayed up until almost 4 in the morning because you couldn't fall asleep. I could not. I went home. Yeah. But then I could not sleep. It is true. I could not go to sleep, which is ridiculous if you consider how tired I was at the end of the show. Right. I was punchy. We had cupcakes, and there may have been vodka involved. Maybe. Perhaps. <laughs> may have been Stephanie chanting, drink it, drink it, drink it. It worked. We it, got donations. We did. We got donations for the drinking of the vodka. It's too bad we can't have the vodka in the square. See? Wow. Yeah. Which, you know, when you're that tired, and, and to be fair, you both were not driving yourselves no, home. No, we were so, not no. driving. No, we were not. We were, we were delivered safely to our homes, and then I proceeded to not sleep. because. And then when I finally did crash, it was hard. And then I don't remember when I woke up, but I don't think I slept nearly. I, I think it's it was like, like four days later. <laughs> no, I, I think I only got a few hours of sleep. Because then, you know, the next day you return to normal life. I had a kid. Right. You've got to get up and you've got to be a mom. You've yep. got to go to work. You've got to do whatever it is that you have to do. And, yep. you know, you can't. That's exactly the reason why I never go out anymore anywhere. Seriously. Yeah. I'm like, well, 9 o'clock, good night. Yeah. Because my daughter's up at 6. <laughs> yeah. And there's no, oh, mommy wants to sleep. No. At, at, at that age, I can pull that off a little more effectively now, but not enough to make up for the fact that I haven't slept for 30 hours. I just, I've learned if I'm really tired, I just wake up and I'm like, okay, She's going to go down at 12.30. She's going to go down at 12.30. <laughs> I just know if I could just get there, Pulled just get through the next few hours, I can pull it off. That's fantastic. Oh. We're ready to go through the We're sponsors. We're ready whenever. That'll be awesome. Yeah, we She'll would love now. to go through the sponsors as soon as you're ready. I'm Watching. looking at the monitor right now. We're going to go. Oh, look. Here we go. This is, this is not our sponsor. This is one of the charities. This is Pear, Creatively Mentoring Homeless Youth. The Oregon Food Bank. Okay, now we're on to the sponsors, pdx.fm. pdx.fm was our, one of our premier sponsors. They provided all the audio support. Blaze Streaming Media. Provided a lot of the equipment Thank for you, streaming. Joe. Thank you, yeah. Joe. Social so Oh, I recognize that Aaron photo. Hockley. There's Aaron Hockley. Provided Thank you so the, much, Aaron. The, uh, there's, a, there's a wired one right uh, there. Network Do you want to go out? I'll, I'll come out. I'll come out in a minute. Let's go through the, the sponsors. Network Redux provided a cash sponsorship for us. Step House Networks provided all the connectivity for us throughout the time. Gadget Track is donating all proceeds from any software sold during 30-hour day to the charities. Burgerville fed the team today at oh, lunch. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you, Burgerville. Icebreaker provided clothing for me and also some financial support for the um, event that came on. World Cup Coffee and Tea. <laughs> Without it, the, it wouldn't happen. <laughs> kept, the, kept everybody caffeinated throughout the day. Nedwater kept everybody hydrated throughout the day. Thank you, Nedwater, again for sponsoring. A couple other people that we'll want to hit that we didn't have logos for were Intel who provided in-kind support with the monitors. We're actually reading this stuff off of. Um, tech Craver, which is a blog about mobile technology, provided financial support for us. And that's about it. I think we hit everybody else. So thank you very much to our sponsors this time around. A lot of in-kind sponsors, a lot of cash sponsors who helped make this possible. What was it so like having you. more time this time around to 
prepare as opposed to like taking it from idea to delivery at like a month. No. You know, it was it, it, it was such it was such kind of a bigger project that we took a care we took care of a lot of the big deal things like early on, like secure the square, you know, figure out what we're figure out what we're gonna do. Start Morgan I think had most of the variety show dialed in like months in advance. Right. But then there was a lot of like last minute there was still a lot of last minute stuff in like the there last There always is. <laughs> the last six weeks were like the original yeah. six weeks, sure. trying to chase stuff down and figure stuff out. Well but and this this stage here in Pioneer Square yeah. makes it bigger. So yes. it's a bigger production. So in that it sense is. it's not like it's just the same old, same old. Right. Right. Well and it was really that was the other thing we wanted to test is as you well know, last time around was a closed set. Right. So there weren't a lot of people wandering around. There wasn't, you know, people who were there were either meant to be on stage or were volunteering to help with production. And this we wanted to bring out into Portland's living room to see what kind of response the, you know, the bands, it's great for the bands to get exposure on the web, but what kind of exposure do they get from people wandering through the square. Hey, you guys. Kind of so that yep. was really interesting. Speaking yes. of Portland's living room, you're never going to guess where I am. Oh, it's working. Where, where Yay. are you? Okay, great. Hey, I'm in the production tent with Kimberly Gell. Hi, Kim. Hello. How you doing? I'm pretty good. What have you been doing, Kimberly? A little bit of everything. <laughs> That's kind of status quo anytime we have a production of this size which uh, we have, I mean, we've done some, some big productions and you've been a part of them, but... <laughs> How you feeling, Kimberly? I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So right now you're producing? I'm producing. Mm -hmm. I'm switching, mm -hmm. putting up logos and such. What were you doing a couple hours ago? Uh, I think maybe helping get the camera set up. So let me run this down for you. She's tired. I'm tired too, but I can tell you that she's been running cable. She's been working the camera. She's been running the TriCaster. She's probably been pulling plugs on the board. She's probably been barking at people to get things done. She's probably listened to people go off on her because things weren't the way that they were supposed to be. She's probably stared blankly at the screen a few times because she's tired and we're making her do technical work. And she's been awesome the entire freaking time. Thank you. <laughs> I'm tired too, Kimberly. I'm trying to see who, we need to talk to other people too, but they're all not here. I don't think we can get Tyler to turn the camera on himself. Oh yeah, there we go, Kelly. You take the camera for Tyler. Yeah, we'll get to Kelly in a minute. Let's get Tyler before he uh, tries to run away. I'm gonna run over there. So, so Tyler didn't really do a ton of video production until uh, we were at uh, the Com Web Visions. Com uh, month ago or a month and a half ago. Hi, Tyler. How you doing? Good. <laughs> Are you tired? OK, so what have you been doing? Uh, I've been switching a little bit, running cameras, wrangling cables, people, whatever. How'd you guys get wrangled in on this? Oh, I know these great people that were doing this thing. and. Uh, they said, you know, they could use a hand, and here we are. Why? Why did you want to do this, and what was the best part, and what was absolutely the crappiest part? Well, it was for a good cause, and, uh, you know, good opportunity to work with some great people. You know, do something fun, interesting, and, you know, worthwhile. Uh, I think the best part is being in the square and being able to just be crazy and all of the music was really good. It was just fun to sit back here and listen to it while you're switching, just dancing around. And uh, all, just everybody who was on stage was fun to watch. We had some amazing, amazing, amazing acts. All right, oh, we've got Aaron. Hey, hey Aaron. How's it going? So Aaron is another case of nobody actually gets to have just one job <laughs> at all because Originally, Aaron was just going to come play for us. He's the lead singer of Target for Tomorrow and the Horns of Destruction. Hi, Aaron. Hi, how's it going? Good. How long were you on stage playing in the band? Uh, we were on for about an hour, and that was yesterday. And how long have you, <laughs> how many hours have you spent in the square this weekend? Uh, probably about 20 or 24, I would say. Over, over 30? It wasn't over 30. Well, you guys got to go home and sleep, but you guys got here early in the morning on Friday, yeah? Yeah, and you've been here all day today. Yeah, you've been here for a while. 
been a while. Yeah, it's definitely been a while. But uh, yeah, dude, yeah, we get to see some totally sweet music acts though. Like, I, I do sound all the time, kind of on my own anyway. But um, yeah, it was just sweet getting to see and like mix for a lot of the bands that, that came in. I, I thought like. Uh, so last time you just played, last time we did 30 Hour Day, you guys came in and played, and you, you knocked our socks off. We loved you guys so much that you were the first band that were like, hey, yeah, exactly. let's get these guys to come back. Little did you know, <laughs> exactly, little did you know that, that you were going to be working your ass off this time. Yeah, it was kind of fun when we showed up, and then it was like, oh, okay, the whole sound end of the broadcast is up to you guys. All right, cool. Very much. So Charlie, come on. Come on, I know, I know I've already spoken with you. Yeah, I know. I know you have. You've been doing backflips, you've been... I wanted to see if I could still do a backflip after all the, after like however long I've been on, I don't know. Couldn't you have waited until there was an ambulance parked across the street so I didn't have a conniption fit? No? No, I like, I like backflips a lot in any state of mind. So aside from playing, what was your favorite part uh, of the production? I have to say, actually, like, I really am glad that Aaron and I, like, it was a learning experience for Aaron and I. I got to say, we're closer friends now, uh, definitely. What doesn't make you kill each other makes you stronger? Uh, no, and on top of that, like, uh, this is all our gear running all the live sound. And we, well, not all of it, for the mains and all that stuff, but, like, we put ourselves to the test. We put our gear to the test and, like, I don't know, it was definitely a huge learning experience for me because Aaron knows how to work all these knobs. I just know how to hook everything up. So we ran into a few issues when he had to go to a bathroom break and something was feeding back. And I'm just sitting here like, I'm sorry. Uh, it sounds bad, you're right, you're right. So. It's nice that you can confirm that for people. Yeah. yeah. yeah? All right, I think, I think I'm gonna get up. I think, I think I need Tyler to go get that camera back. Yes, we can. I just want to Tyler to get the camera so we can have Kelly work her way over here. Hi, Reed. You learned how to use the TriCaster and produce this week, didn't you? Indeed. Yeah. Are you one of our overnight guys? Uh, not quite overnight, but I was there from like 1 to 3.30 doing switching. Okay. That's the overnight shift, no matter how long you were there. You did very well, too. Thank you. Yeah, and you also were the doorman. Doorman, and I did some camera stuff today. and. Also um, you were a lackey as well. Yes, yes, indeed. You're an excellent lackey. What was your favorite and least favorite part of the production? Um, I enjoyed um, all the stuff that we were doing last night, and there was a bit of chaos involving green screens, but and but, and I really like being out here on the square. And it's nice. It's the fresh air. I think that's kept us all bright-eyed. All right, get out of the chair. Bye, Reed. Kelly. Kelly, 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 Kelly. Hi, Kelly. How are you? I'm a little sleepy. Kelly, freaked out because I just looked up and there's like three cameras all pointed at me. To be fair, two of two of those are still frame. But it was a, it was still a little odd. So you you were the daytime volunteer coordinator for Friday and Saturday. Yes, I was. And by daytime, I mean not overnight. That doesn't actually mean daytime. It's dark outside, and you're the coordinator right now, too. Yes, as a matter of fact, I am. But who, who's coordinating your volunteers while you're sitting here talking to me? Uh, I run a pretty tight ship, so, you know, they know what they're doing. I don't see a lot of slacking, I'll be honest. There's really not. Did you get people to come and stay and help you clean up? I did. I have people who are here to volunteer um, for the teardown process once we're done broadcasting, so. That's phenomenal. Is it really 9.40? Almost? Yes. Wow. Wow. Okay, Egal. Just say hi, Egal. Come on. I know you were on Strange of Live last night, but still. Just for a moment. Whee! Yeah. I, I, I will. I'll make sure Tyler shoots the mess. Hi, Egal. Hello. Hi, Cammy. How are you doing? I'm a little tired, Egal. How are you doing? Pretty good. Did you sleep? No. Yeah, no, I saw you last night the whole time. Well, not it's not true. I took a nap. I didn't see you when I was napping. I took a nap. I took a nap. I took a nap. I took a nap. I've been up since 4 a.m. on Friday. Miguel, I would like you to go home and sleep. 
Are you are you one of the cleanup volunteers? Thank you, cleanup volunteers. I'm not on the cleanup crew, but I'm very grateful to the wonderful volunteers that are helping with cleanup because it's a tough job. Now, Egal, tell me that you're going to go home and go to sleep. I'm going to go home and go to sleep. Really soon? In the near future. I was so close. I was so very, very, very close. All right, Egal, we're going to, we're going to, yeah, we're going to make Louis come over here now. You can, you can finish. Thank you. Congratulations to you, too. You've been a huge part of it. Louis. Louis, I think you're the last person we're going to talk to on, under the production tent because we're going to have Tyler uh, get a shot of the mess. Oh, Louis, you were a PA to the star. What? It's only all the uh, wonderful inspiration I encounter with all these lovely people that you've gathered together for these fabulous behaviors. Fabulous behaviors. <laughs> <laughs> it was my only sad moment is that I understand there was a Southern conversation earlier in this situation. And you got somebody from Kentucky? Well, to be fair, he volunteered to do it. It was his idea. It was his idea to be uh, the Southern conversation. And to be fair, you were not here on Friday. But he was from Kentucky. That's not part of the South at all. It is if you ask him. To each their own, Louis. To each their That's own. Mason Dixon line, and that's all I'm going to say about it. Well, if we have another Southern conversation, I'll make sure that you are included, sir. Oh, please, and otherwise my heart would be broken beyond belief. Okay, Louis obviously not had enough sleep. So we're going to move along now. <laughs> No, seriously, Louis was uh, Morgan's personal assistant, and by that I mean he did absolutely everything that he was told to do, and then he bossed her around and made her eat and drink water. Oh, it's nothing. You know, it's like what your mom would do for you, right? M my mom, yeah. Yes, my mom's an interesting woman. She would make me do that as well, though. You're right. All right, Louis, I'm going to move out. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Tyler, can you please get a shot of the production mess? It's a mess. It's a mess. It's okay to admit it. They've taken the tent sides off so that you can see. We know what it is. Now, while I'm talking, you guys should totally be donating right now. You should be up on the website donating, OK? What is the website? It's 30hourday.org, 30hourday.org. How's the mess look, Tyler? Messy. He says the mess looks messy. Look, I found Mike, Mike K. Hi, Mike. Hi, Cammie. Is this your second shift? It is my second shift. Are you part of the cleanup crew? I am, and I'm part of the cleanup crew. Thank you so much, Mike. You're welcome. So what did you do? Why did you decide to, oh, I actually know why, because I told someone to email you and ask you because I thought you might do it. Well, that and it's a good cause. Thank you very much. So what did you do? I manned one of the cameras for about three hours this morning. Fantastic. And came you're holding cables. And now I'm holding cables, and then I'll help clean up, so. Excellent. That's really good. I think that I'm going to kidnap Doc Normal. Hey, Doc, you want to come on up to the stage? Yay! Come on. Come on. Let's go on up to the stage. Let's go see Stephanie and Rick. Come visit. We've got couches. We can sit on them. Yes. There's four I'll microphones. I'll even scoot over. So when you ask me about the brightness of the lights, I'm not staring directly into one of them, so oh, that I seat am. is very bright yeah, yeah, and this is warm. My, so yeah. it's about equivalent. Yes. So yes. Okay, what are you doing? I am tweeting, or I'm messaging a friend here. Oh. <laughs> that was the laptop you were waving around. Nine forty something. something. Oh boy. Well, congratulations for fixing everything and getting it up oh. and running and. Yeah, we kind of went down there in the last hour. But we're back now. Yeah, we are. But we are back. We're yes. back. Can I mention my thing now? Do that? Yes, please. We're on the stream now. Stephanie right? has some amazing news. I'm really excited about this because I'm a bit of a geek at heart. Please tell us. Monday night, Will Wheaton's coming down to do Live <laughs> at 7 with me. So if you guys want to do a tweet up Monday night, I would welcome you out on the bricks, and I know he would, too. He's a very, very cool guy. So if you're around Monday, if you're not still sleeping from staying up. <laughs> Watching this podcast, Telethon, crazy stuff for 30. Donate hours. now in their last remaining minutes. Yeah. Yes. Will who? Although, to be fair, to be fair, we like them more if they donate right now, but we'll still like them. They can donate later. Yeah. yeah. Whenever. Yep. Yeah. So you just go to causes on Facebook, and no, you don't have to have a Facebook login to do that. 
Mm -mm. No. No, no. How do you feel you're in the home stretch, you guys? I know. I'm Only a, a few more minutes now. And, and a little tired. I was in the home stretch at 8. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with me, kid. We'll get you there. We'll get so, you there. You know what? Can I, I'm curious. Hmm. People watching don't understand what it takes to pull this off, Doc Normal. So just if you had to guess, how many laptops, how, how big of an operation is this for you when you sit down and you say, okay, we've got to get all this stuff done? Like, what does it take? Uh, well, we have to um, set up a stage, set up lights, set up a PA, just like you do a stage show. Right. And then we have to set up video cameras and video switching, just like you have to do to broadcast. And then we do the internet. And that's where we take all of that, all of the audio, all of the video, and put it into a bunch of computers and stream it out the internet. And so we've got microwave, wireless internet, and all of that in addition to it. So it's pretty much, you know, what you guys have over there, but uh, on laptops and computers. When you decided, okay, we're doing this at the square, did you have a moment of pause when you said to yourself, oh, S? Yes. <laughs> I knew it. Every day. I knew it. Oh, yes. S. Well, it's really cool to be able to say, hey, we're doing it from the square. It's Portland's living room. It really is. <laughs> the well, rest think, of it? I think the key was that last time, like we said, we had a closed set. We just set up a sound stage, and so we had to worry about what we were producing in the studio. Uh, this time, we had to worry about People Actually urinating on the it. bricks. <laughs> Sorry. Doing it live. Was that Jay Mackin, <laughs> by the way, of Unibash Radio? There was no one from PDX FM urinating on the bricks. It was just, just a lovely gentleman, perhaps later. a bit troubled, who walked up and took a leak on the bricks. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to note that we're now under 15 minutes from being over. Oh, boy. But the point is, is that you wanted just to open it. it up so that people could do exactly what they've been doing. Just walking around, checking it out. I see people, they'll yeah. stop, mm -hmm. look in, mm -hmm. take some photos, mm -hmm. come up, say hi, or not, or just stand way off in the distance and watch from way over there. Yeah. Believe it or not, that's fun. Yeah. Because it's great to do a live event and let things happen live, and you've got cameras, and you're, you're live on the net, and something happens, and you just turn a camera on it and see what Absolutely. happens. People, you know, it's not scripted. It's live. Yeah, your next challenge is... Um, cameras that can transmit via microwave. So then you're totally mobile. Why not? Let's just yeah. make it harder. Let's do it from That'd Iceland. Be, yeah. <laughs> right? Like you guys it. are like, shut up, Steph, mm, go away. No. Let's not put Stephanie in charge of Luke. <laughs> yeah, no, no executive producer can cred make for this? Steph. None of that. You get the budget. Yeah, there you go. I can foot the bill to make it happen. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, it worked. It worked, it worked and you pulled it off. So. It did. We 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 went uh, for 30 hours. I think one of the, I think one of the biggest technical hurdles is we did two uh, broadcasts. So we had to shut down here at 10 o'clock yeah. live because of a noise ordinance and the curfew is at midnight. In fact, uh, as soon as we shut down here at 10, we got to get up this stage and everything out of here as quickly as possible. And so we moved two blocks. So no loitering. Up to web trends, Unless you're to an office building, to broadcast, and making that switch over. And then in the morning, as we're looking at all this gear that we have to pack up and then switch over down here, and we're on cell phones going, are you done? Yes, click, go, go, you know. Was now that we're seamless? Live in the was, I missed the transition. Did it work? Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I could just, well. because you just, you. the thing is, is you can, you can, beta test it all you want. Yeah. And then 4 o'clock hits and it's go time and you're like, oh, come on, really? No audio? What is going on? I mean, that's just how it works. That's the nature of the beast. He got it started at 4. We were ready to go. There was no ish. Yeah. Yeah. We love no, that. It was at 4 o'clock. Yeah. There was some... There was some date, b debate beforehand. Everyone was freaking out. But 4 o'clock rolled around and the stream, went, the stream yeah. went live. Yeah. Well, usually I just say, at 4 o'clock, you'll have one camera on your boots and uh, just, just <laughs> fake it. Just stretch, stretch. <laughs> you can do that tap stretch. dance. Yeah. <laughs> dance monkey, make it work. We'll All get right. the effects in later. Are you more tired this time around or less tired than the last time? I have no choice. I have to break all this down and cart it away. So. But Different compared to tired? I've, I've been drinking coffee for two so days. So you're kind of wired. You're in that, you're in that yeah. zone. World Cup coffee. I've been drinking World Cup coffee. <laughs> one of the sponsors. And eating Power Bars, which is not one of our sponsors. But next time, it might be. we'll have to 
get them. I did a show last night from 12.30 to 2 up in B location. I did mm-hmm. my little talk show podcast yeah. for an hour and a half. I have no idea if I made any sense. <laughs> I had three, I don't even know how many, three or four guests who sat down with me. I have no idea what happened. I bet you to, it was great. I'll have to look at the tape and, and see what we did. It was great. They need to do Emmys for podcasting. They do. They'll, they get, Webbies, they'll get there. The Webbies, right? Something like that? I yeah, the Webbies handle other stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they do. Well, they, they have the streamies. Mm. And oh, the streamies like yeah. and the Webbies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cammy, what about you? More tired this time or less tired? I don't know. Different, different tired. Different tired. Different tired. It's amazing what the fresh air will do. I mean, the fresh air, it, it, all at once, you're completely like revived and and you, you can breathe and the but cool you- breeze is nice. But being out in the sun all day and running back and forth, climbing up and down the stage is also very exhausting. But here's the thing, too, and this is important to point out. So even though they've been awake for 30 hours or doing this for 30 hours, it's not like they slept until 2 in the afternoon and then came down here. I mean, you yeah. got up at probably a normal time, so you've been up for a really, yeah. really long time. So Dog was down here at 8 in the morning. I woke up at 8 in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. the stage was already, we started set up at 8 in the morning on uh, Friday. Ugh. I think the difference is last time we just, once we were done, <laughs> power went down, we shut down the whole sound stage, and we walked away. I think we all went and had a beer or whatever, yeah. and then came back the next morning to clean mm-hmm. up. Not, we not need to roll time. out tonight. Oh, yeah. goodness sakes. I feel bad for you guys. Did you bring your work clothes? Heck no. <laughs> That's why I wore heels. So yeah, no one yeah. would say See, to me, look. can you carry this? <laughs> nope, I'm wearing heels. <laughs> I can't do it. Sorry, no. five inch I heels should, can't do it. I should help, but, but I, I You're can't, You're wearing heels. I'm wearing heels. <laughs> Hello. Rick, what about you? More tired this time? Um, no, again, I think different tired. I was. I knew being outside would take it out of everybody a lot more. I mean... Being in a closed soundstage, protected from people, having to interact with people, um, I knew we'd have. I knew we'd have to interact with people in the square, either in a positive or negative way. And I knew the weather would play a factor one way or the other. And so. And that we'd have emergency vehicles driving by, yeah. and the they're coming train. for so you. I'm not. It, you know, I. I think I was more mentally prepared for how tired I was going to be, but. I still feel about the same level of tired that Got we it. the first time around. That makes sense. Nine minutes. 30-hour day. Getting close. Dot org. Less than nine minutes. And I did want to point can... out that Rick wore his heels as well, so he yes, won't be helping either. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, not only can we not see because of the bright lights, we cannot hear because of the emergency vehicles yeah. and our own tiredness. If we, get, if we get about 70 more bucks, we will hit $2,000 in donations. Hey. So... If uh, mm. within the last nine minutes, if <laughs> Kelly. anybody wants to do that, Kelly. you can donate at awesome. any at any level. Truly, correct. That's you could, right. and it would make us all happy. You can go to thirtyhourday.org, three zero. 30 hour day. I'm not. I'm not going to be a stripper. Thank you. <laughs> Wait. You what? Kelly is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. excellent. Good thinking, Kelly. <laughs> Kelly, 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 Kelly. Let's Kelly, see. Kelly, Some Kelly, of the people who've Thank donated, you. just so you know. Gadget Track, Marie Dethridge, Very cool. Michael Richardson, Jim Wolf, Paula Holm Jensen. Don Park. Steve Woodward, Eric Ratcliffe, Leslie Shocker, Sh- Sh- Shockner. Who did I miss? Don. Don Park. Sorry, Don. Right over Don. Domp, domp. Sorry about that. Ugh. Amy Farrell, Brian Enigma, who also da- donated an iPhone awesome iPhone app. Telling iPhone me that we've got app. seven minutes and 30 seconds left. 29, 28. We're losing Julie time. Shaun- Julia I saw the Shaunacy. screen grab of that on Twitter. Mark the Chubb. App. That's cool. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. He did a great job. Brian Stearns donated several times. Thank you, Brian. And time. Brian's here and right time. now. He also helped load up the truck the Jason night before. Jason Maurer donated as well. So a lot of people, a lot of familiar people giving money. Thank you very, very much. Hey, Doc, very what was the appreciate. what was the thing that went well that you didn't expect to? Something that went smoothly that wasn't anticipated? I think overall it went pretty well. I think, uh, you know, just everything went smoothly. We, you know, we really didn't have any big incidents or anything. Um, today at lunchtime, uh, we had a big crowd of people. All the bands changed out mm-hmm. quite nicely. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, that's Aaron, fun. The crowd uh, is fun. It energizes yeah. you. Yeah. 
Aaron and um, Charlie, Target for Tomorrow, Run in the Sound, uh, you know, everything. I mean, it was a lot of work, but uh, overall, everything went well. And overall, uh, we kept up for 30, 30 hours. Yeah. We've been doing it. And now we've got six minutes and 20 seconds. 19. Jeez. Stephanie, how is this different from the last time? I will agree with you on the, the open air front. And this is such a great location because I... I, because I don't have a light directly beamed into my retina, mm -hmm. can see out and see all the folks out there kind of just <laughs> either milling Hi. about, walk, walking about, you know, stopping by to check. And I really like that. I really, yeah. really do. The advantage of the office space location where you were before is in a sense that it is a controlled environment. So it's easier to change. It's easier to sit down when you're not on, ca you know, not yeah. on camera. It's easier for you guys to get a little bit more of a break. Correct. What would be really awesome is like an RV just rolled yes. right over there. Just a, you know, just, we, just for we even... We need trailers. Yeah. Trailers for everyone next okay, time Okay, yes, around. let's. Trailer for everybody. Gigantic trailers. Trailer each. It's in my rider. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, I think, I think that. Yeah. That's it. And also, there's something... I do, I do like the Christmas tree. I did like, I mean, that I was nice. I like the Christmas tree. Yeah. Yeah. We had, so, uh, Lawrence Farms, Gordon yeah. Lawrence, who donated that, who also, again, these are the same lights we used last time from Gordon Lawrence. Thank you, Gordon. Gordon, very cool. Five minutes. 30hourday.org, last minute donations. Donations five right now would be going Ten to bucks. Do we want to run through the sponsor graphics one more time? I think, I think we, that would be we, great. Let's do that. Let's that do would that. be awesome. Kim, do you have the sponsor graphics, graphics one more time. we want to talk through since. Uh, <laughs> it's 30 hour day. We've been oh here for God. for 29 hours and 55 minutes. Oh, How y'all doing, baby? We're hey. a little tired. Is that Facebook? No, sir. No, that is. That's causes. But you know what? You guys. How you guys doing? We're, Are you guys singing? Are you guys singers? No, I we're wish. not. But you know what? I we're finishing up our podcast. Oh. It'd be great if you could let us finish. I will let you guys finish. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much, darling. <laughs> Have a good night. Arizona tea is the best. <laughs> <laughs> it's always good when you're that happy. Yeah? Yeah. There you go. It's, it's a surprise minute here <laughs> in Pioneer Courthouse it's Square. It's Portland's living room. If that, that doesn't fun? make you donate five bucks, Anyone then I don't know what will. <laughs> jump on in. Seriously. I think that's Come a pretty on. good overheard on Twitter. Are you guys all singers? <laughs> <laughs> do we? Well, yeah. Like me, you do not That'll be the next 30-hour day. Little <laughs> Bit. So PDX.fm. PDX.fm. Uh, content, crew, support. Blaze uh, Streaming Media. Live event. They Blaze a ton of equipment. Media. Thank you, Joe. A lot of equipment. Mm. Social, Social photo talk. Cash and love. Ne Network Redux. Cash sponsorship. And uh, helped us out. Step House. Provided the internet. Um, Gadget track. Uh, all, all proceeds from purchases during the show. Going to Charities, Burgerville, Burgerville. gave us lunch. Thank they you fed us. Again, Thank you, Burgerville. Burgerville. That was Icebreaker. nice. Icebreaker. Icebreaker provided both money and clothing. World, World Cup. Cup Doc oh. drank a lot of World Cup today. I did a lot of the stuff. <laughs> so That's why we're still and online. And Nedwater. And a Nedwater. Lot, a lot I drink a lot of Nedwater. Nedwater. And then I, oh. we also wanted to touch on Intel, who provided yes, the, Intel monitors the monitors. Yes, Intel the monitors. Thank you, Intel. Kind. Um, and the monitors work this time. I mean, that had nothing to do with Intel. It's like we actually had time to set up the monitors yeah. properly and use them as prompters. So we knew what we were doing in each hour of every well, I day. Saw, yeah, the rundown. Yeah. Yeah. You oh, get sorry. that all the time. Sort of. Yeah. Sort it's, of a, it's a different beast. You know, it's a different beast because it it's, it's everyone there does it every single day. Correct. So the machine runs differently because it's just you know yeah. it, it's it's very old hat and even in the, the most extreme situations the folks have done it so often that chances are they've seen it somewhere before and they know how to do it so that's it's pretty amazing to be honest that's the one thing that i think is amazing about the first two 30 hour days we're all a bunch of volunteers that's right we're I, not I've said that professional broadcasters you're not traveling around city to city doing this yeah exactly we're we're not two sitting minutes. in the studio at the square doing yep. this every day for a living so that's why I love this so much. 
you know, this is what you can do on the internet. This is what you can do with some uh, smart people and some laptops and some cameras and have a good time. A little bit of desire, a little bit of let's see if we can do it. Yeah. <laughs> let's challenge ourselves and just see. And we a have bit very of smart being a people that work punishment. on this. <laughs> <laughs> with a lot of energy and uh, a lot of brains and uh, you know we solve problems every hour and get it done the other person I want to recognize is did you mention Aaron Weiss your ah, professional yes. partner in producer crime. Aaron who will be a daddy in December oh, oh congratulations wow. Aaron congratulations yeah so he played the piano all day today in the hot sun. In yeah, he was sun. right in the sun all day. Oh, he's going to have a sunburn. I'm going to walk by on Monday and start smacking smack him in the back, him on the of, the back neck. of the neck. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. How's that feel? <laughs> he, did, he did the same job this year that he did last year. He played transitions so that we could, uh, we could have something going out over the stream while we did sound checks. You know, he, does, he plays around the holidays, like mm -hmm. in malls and stuff. I mean, he's really, really talented. You yes, know. Yes, he is. He's very <laughs> so. talented. Yeah, I wondered why we were listening to Christmas music all the day when we were cutting <laughs> Over, uh, the snowman. 30, 30 seconds. We are oh, singers. 30 oh, are seconds. We, this is it. Yep. This, is, this we're, is it. We're 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 ready to. Thank cut you off for the having stream. me down for the to, to you, close this out. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Really well, no, it's it. thanks for Three, coming six. on my show. Mine says. 20. Wow, our our, huh? They're not synced up. Interesting. I've got 50, I get to I get to finish right, before yep. you guys do. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> Your thirty-hour day ends five okay, seconds I get earlier. Five seconds ahead. <laughs> That's I'm an overheard. Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I almost want to. I'm the producer. Myself, I think I have the official clock, right? All right, I'm done. Are we gonna call? You're right. you're done. Yep. Your 30 hour day is over. Do we have the? Uh, the We've done oh, it, everyone. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Woo! We've done it. No four, three, Thank you. two, Thank you guys. one. Yay! Now my 30 hour day is over. <laughs> Are you done? Wait, no, no, Wait, no. We, I got, more we got one more. One Doc. more clock. We're waiting for Doc. This has milliseconds. <laughs> All right, we have like 16 it, seconds left on this one, and then we really longer. are done. It really Come does. On. Come on. Let's all count down from 10. Oh, here, we go. It's, here we go. It's coming. The second hand's coming up. 10, 9, 9 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! There it is. Woo! Thank you, Woo! everybody. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> good night. Thank you. No, just say good night. Good Don't night. pull the power, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah.